Stephen Smith, a 19-year-old nursing student from Hampton, South Carolina, was found dead in the early morning hours of July the 8th, 2015. He was discovered laying in the middle of a dark country road three miles away from where his car had ran out of gas. Authorities intentionally thought that Smith had been shot, but his death was later ruled a hit and run, a claim that his mother, Sandy Smith, disputes to this day. So this is uh, session number 6643, trying to communicate and wanting to communicate with Stephen Smith, the spirit of Stephen Smith, if you're here. I will not be speaking a lot. I'm going to type my questions. Stephen, if you're here, can you please try to come through with this energy? Can you do that for me, please? Um, can you do that for us, please? Testing, testing, testing. I hope you can hear me out here. I'm going to turn on the uh, machine here. I would like to speak to Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith, 19-year-old nursing student from Hampton, South Carolina, who lost his life on July the 8th, 2015. I'd like to speak to you. Please. If you're there, please. Sounds like something trying to come through. Some, some, something. That definitely was a reference to something. Definitely. No, no, here, here. I definitely feel an energy as I'm doing this. I feel that this could be possibly this young man. I can't guarantee it, but I feel like that the energy is coming through and trying to speak to someone out there that may be knowing, uh, that may have known Stephen. Um, and I'm just putting on the screen what I'm thinking, I'm hearing. If you hear something different, please let me know in the comments. So let's continue and see what else. Uh, the spirit may be telling us. static coming through, some unusual energy that I feel through this, uh, through the speakers. Did you hear that? 
I'm not sure where this popping noise is coming through or how it's coming through. This is definitely different. Folks, I'm not sure if you heard what I heard, but I heard, did you know my Paul? As in P-A-U-L, Paul. And we know that Paul Murdoch was Alex, Alec Murdoch's son, who Alex killed. And it's, this is just blowing my mind to know that that was that that's what I'm hearing now if you will you go back and listen to that that sound gate that little sound bite because that's what I'm hearing right there did you know my Paul let's see if, uh, if I can get some kind of answer for this this question There's definitely a lot of interference. Wow. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, that, that gave me cold chills there. Holy cow. You know, I feel like whatever happened to this young man was so severe and devastating and shocking to him. And I think before his accident, the young man may have really had a lot of problems and, you know, struggles to try to uh, keep up with his everyday lifestyle. So, but whatever happened to uh, Stephen Smith sh that night should have never happened. Should have never happened. I'm gonna to try to get one last message from Stephen. If this is you, Stephen, one last message. Stephen Smith, can you please communicate with us, please, one more time, please. I hear soap or soup. What did you guys hear? You know the uh, mystery of this uh, young man's death that happened on July 8th, 2015, that night. It needs to be resolved. His mom and family needs to know the answers to what happened to their, to her son. And if somebody is responsible for this young man's death and has still not come forward, I would just tell you that anything that's happened since that is the curse of you not doing that 
So please, if you know anything about this young man's death, please come forward and let the authorities know. Thank you for watching, folks. I hope all lovings, each and every one of you, will be safe out there in our crazy world. This is George. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.